Hi guys, in this video we are going to explore postmodernism and postmodernity. Let's get into the video. So what is postmodernism? Postmodernism is a late 20th century movement characterized by broad skepticism, subjectivism or relativism, a general suspicion of reason and an acute sensitivity to the role of ideology in asserting and maintaining political and economic power. So, according to Linda Hutchian, the postmodernism spread to other art forms that demonstrated a paradoxical mixing of seeming opposites, the traditional and new, which is in parallel to the post-structuralist Jacques Derrida's binary opposition theory. However, the concept of postmodernism stresses the uniquely fragmented nature of much contemporary experiences. So, let's say, the concept of postmodernism became well known since the 1980s, that is the late 20th century. But without an understanding of modernism, it is impossible to understand the 20th century culture, that is the postmodernism. So, now let's look into the definition of postmodernism. An eclectic approach by a liking for aleatory writing, parody and pastiche is postmodernism as defined by J. A. Kadan in his Dictionary of Literary Terms and Literary Theory. So this description doesn't really show much difference between modernism and postmodernism as the word eclectic suggests the use of fragmented forms which is one of the characteristic feature of modernism and also aleatory forms meaning those which incorporate an element of randomness or chance. So, by knowing the difference between modernism and postmodernism, you may get a clear picture of what postmodernism is. Modernism and postmodernism are not two successive stages in the history of the arts, but are two opposed modes or attitudes. According to Jeremy Hawthorne, fragmentation as a feature of 20th century art and culture is seen as a very different modes by modernists and postmodernists. The modernist feature it in such a way as to register a deep nostalgia for an earlier age when faith was full and authority intact. Whereas for the postmodernist fragmentation is an exhilarating, liberating phenomenon symptomatic of our escape for the claustrophobic embrace of fixed systems of belief. So in a nutshell, the modernist laments fragmentation while the postmodernist celebrates it. Here is a deep and sharp difference between modernism and postmodernism. So modernism was prevalent from the late 19th century whereas postmodernism was prevalent from the mid 20th century. Modernism was influenced by the first world war whereas postmodernism was influenced by the second world war. Modernism was based on using rational and logical means to gain knowledge since it rejected realism. Postmodernism was based on an unscientific, irrational thought process and it rejected logical thinking. So, modernism rejected the conventional styles of prose and poetry, whereas postmodernism deliberately uses a mixture of conventional styles. So, inner self and consciousness were predominant in modernism, whereas multiple meanings within a single literary work or complete lack of meaning were found in postmodernism. Thus, in a nutshell, postmodernism was a reaction to modernism, where modernism was about objectivity, postmodernism was about subjectivity. Where modernism sought a singular truth, postmodernism sought the multiplicity of truths, as said by a Filipino writer, Michael Sijiko. Let's now explore some of the characteristic features of postmodern literatures. The first and foremost is irony, playfulness and black humor. This type of feature is found in Kurt Weningert's work uh, like Slaughterhouse No. 5. So the next feature is intertextuality. Intertextuality is a major feature which includes several other features like allusion, quotation, plagiarism, translation and parody. So here allusion is nothing but an indirect or a passing reference in a text. Next one is quotation. Quotation is nothing but the use of others' words as such. For example, Kurt Weingott has used several uh, quotations in Slaughterhouse No. 5. The next one is plagiarism. Plagiarism is nothing but the copying others' text. 
without acknowledging the author or the writer so the next one is translation uh, other one is parody parody is nothing but imitation of a style or manner of a particular writer or a school of writers so for example the movie dictator uh, is a best example for parody the imitation of others is shown clearly in that movie so the next feature is pastiche pastiche is nothing but a pasting of multiple elements in a single text so the next one is metafiction so metafiction is nothing but a uh, writing by a uh, writing about a uh, the process of writing in a uh, work so the next the next feature is the fabulation fabulation is nothing but it relates to pastiche and magic realism so this type of feature is uh, majorly found in harry potter the movie or a uh, movie come book okay so the next one is poyomina poyomina so poyomina is a type of meta fiction Uh, it is about the process of creation of work or book similar to that of meta fiction okay the next one is historiographic meta fiction historiographic meta fiction is uh, nothing but uh, the writer fictionalizes the actual historical events or figures and the next feature is temporal distortion so the temporal distortion feature uh, as nothing but it refers to the fragmentation or non linear text so the perfect example for this type of feature is a the movies related to the time machine that are time traveling for example the back to the future is a best example so here uh, for for some time there is a Uh, the major characters revolve around the present tense and then they go back to future sometimes and they come back to present and then they go back to future so this is a this is non linear text changing of time and place so this is the best example for temporal distortion another feature of postmodernism is magic realism so in magic realism the objects are depicted in a surrealistic way the best example uh, for this type of feature is harry potter so the another feature is late capitalism or techno culture and hyper reality so in this feature the use of technology and hyper real ex- that is the exaggerated information is uh, seen so this culture of late capitalism feature in postmodernism was absorbed by the american marxist critic frederick jameson uh, so another example good example for this type of feature is uh, indiran uh, the movie indiran the next uh, feature is paranoia so in this paranoia the 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 text states as a no ordering system that is the no hierarchy exists so uh, best example for type is uh, mark on the wall short story uh, written by virginia wolf another feature is randomness or disorder this is nothing but the absence of order in the text is seen so best example for this is a letter writing to your friend that is when we write a letter to our friend we do not mean to write in an order we write uh, as randomly as what we think at that moment so this is the best example so the next feature is maximalism maximalism is nothing but the use of minute details to describe a character or a place for example uh, uh, describing a hero or a heroine or a major characters or anything in a play in a text or in any movies so next feature is minimalism as the name suggests minimalism avoids the use of minute details to describe it actually uses the surface descriptions it avoids uh, majorly the adjectives and adverbs so this type of feature can be found in some documentaries and the other feature is unreliable narration the as the name suggests the unreliable narration is nothing but the false or untrust worthy untrustworthy story narrations 
so this type of feature is found in the stories told to children and the last type of uh, feature is the self reflection so the self reflection uh, the writer reflects openly on his or her own process of artful composition so this type of feature is found in any uh, books prefaces or a prologues uh, kind of things some of the popular postmodernist writers are Thomas Pynchon, Don DeLillo, Kurt Vonnegut, David Foster Wallace, Italo Calvino, Vladimir Nabokov, and so on. Few famous postmodernist theorists are Jacques Derrida, Jean Francis Lyotard, who explored the grand narratives and meta narrative forms, again a feature of postmodern literature, according to which the rational knowledge is not dependent on particular culture but is totally value free. Uh, another, another theorist is Jorgen Habermas, who talked about enlightenment faith in rationality and introduced I think, therefore I am concept which placed human reason at the center of human existence. So the other writer uh, theorists are Michael Foucault, Jean Baudrillard, Felix Guattari, Gilles Deleuze, Jacques Lacan, Julia Kristeva, Surian Triquad, Richard Rorty, and so on. So these postmodern theorists focused on the ideology in the maintenance of economic and political power Postmodernists are generally skeptical of explanations which claim to be valid for all groups, cultures, traditions or races and describe truth as relative. I hope by now you would have understood postmodernism and its features. Let me urge you to think of few movies, plays or books which have the above said postmodern features. And then post it in the comment section to let me know that you have really understood the concept of postmodernism. Postmodernity is a very very simple concept when you clearly and explicitly understand the concept of postmodernism. So the changes that occurred after the Second World War in art, architectural and cultural dimensions is referred to as postmodernism. Whereas the changes that occurred in the general, political, social and economical context are referred to as postmodernity. However, according to Jean Baudrillard, postmodernity leads us to destruction as it brought with it a crisis in how we represent and understand the world around us. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share the video if you really like it. And do not forget to comment. Subscribe this channel for more similar wonderful videos.